Hey, what's up everybody? How are we doing today? 40 second application review here. Um, got a few applications that I've had for a while actually. I want to get them out into a review as soon as possible. And if you guys watched my 41st application review, you might have already seen a couple little sneak previews of these applications because they were on the screen when I did do my 41st application review. But I haven't actually gone into them yet, so let's start that one now. And we're going to start this review off with Blink. Um, I found this application and it was free when I found it. I don't know if it had a temporary price drop or if it's not going to permanently be free, but if so, then definitely go check this out if it's free um, because it is a really fantastic application. Without a doubt, one of the most addicting that I've seen and it has such simple gameplay. That's what I love in an application. Simple and addicting. Uh, so you're greeted with the main menu and here you have a little pretty much toolbar at the bottom. Information on the application, settings and tools, this is the official instructions, and then over here you'll be able to uh, report bugs, request features and updates and stuff, ideas for the game, or go to their website. And then also this little box right here is basically just another settings and tools just on the main screen. So you can have your power-ups on and off. Definitely leave them on because that's what keeps this game fun and interesting is all the different power-ups that you can acquire during gameplay. Uh, select your difficulty level, easy, medium, hard, insane. Uh, we're going to do easy for this review. And then versus your computer or versus a player. Versus a computer is definitely what I've done so far. I did try to play against a friend once and uh, it's definitely workable, but it's just the same if you play against a computer when you're alone. So no problems there. They're not stupid. They're not easy. Easy either. Even if we're on level difficulty easy, it's still a pretty complicated game. So, going to start game. And what we have here is basically what I would compare a mix between Pong and Air Hockey. Uh, I know those are both pretty similar ideas and concepts, but with all the little power-ups that will be floating across the screen here, you'll definitely be able to see what I'm talking about. So, tap the screen to begin. And all you need to do is simply just drag your finger around and this will move my paddle around. You can move up and down. So that's where the air hockey sense comes into play and it's not just like Pong where you're just moving horizontal. And at first, guys, it seems really easy. It's not. Uh, what you're doing is it's first of the uh, either team to get to a score of 9. Uh, I always want to say 10, but for some reason they made it to go to 9. Um, but anyway, there are different power-ups that you guys can acquire. And uh, I'll show you. They start flying right in the middle. There's one going right there. And uh, so he just hit it, so he now gets that power up. That one widened his little pad. This one he just hit releases six balls throughout the entire air. So now we're playing with six until they go um, out of gameplay. Oh, God, it's going fast. So he just got a power up, which shows a line wherever I hit the ball. So he now knows exactly where the ball is going to ricochet off to. So that's, a that's probably my favorite one because it's so convenient for the player to use. So, just plan. I'm trying to get all these balls gone out of here now because there's still a lot of them. Oh, there's another thing we're just going to hit. Alright, so this little power-up that we hit, uh, I actually got it. It makes it so that when my, I hit my balls, um, it makes it temporarily invisible or at least slightly less faded away so you can't see it quite as easily. And then, jeez, these are a lot on here. Usually they don't last this long. Usually they're off the screen pretty soon. Anyway. Uh, your score is shown in the middle of the screen right now. It's four to one. I'm winning. Surprisingly, usually I'm not doing so well in this application. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna say that I'm terrible, but even when I play an easy level, the computer usually still beats my uh, caboose. Anyway, so that's uh, called Blink, a free application, I believe, still from the uh, App Store. It's a really fun one. Definitely addicting. There's a bunch of different power ups in the gameplay. You can go figure them out yourself. Anyway, that's called Blink. Go check it out. Next one that I have for you is called, I believe, K Bounce, maybe. I'm going to see. There's no main menu at all, so I'm just going to assume it's called K-Bounce Lite because that's what it said on my uh, touch screen menu. So the object of this game is by touching it to different angles, since I'm now tilting it uh, this way. When I tap on the screen, it'll make a vertical line. If I'm holding it this way, it'll make a horizontal line. Um, so your object is to get 75% or more of the screen shaded in gray. And when creating a, um, a a line or anything like that, if one of these red bouncing balls going back and forth touches it, as you guys just saw right there, then the line will die, or I don't know, it just, it just it doesn't continue, and you don't get any of the points for it. Crap. So, it seems pretty easy at first, it kinda is, but once you start to get a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, balls going everywhere, crap, um, then that's when it becomes really difficult. Uh, sometimes I'm kinda confused by it, I'm sure you guys understand this, but as you guys see, sometimes it, uh, fills up the entire block around it, but then sometimes it also just leaves like a straight line across. Let's see if we can get a straight line. See, like right there, it fills up a straight line. I believe that's because there's red balls on both sides, so it won't be able to fill up the entire thing. Actually, yeah, I just answered my own question. I just figured it out. Never mind. All right, so anyway, uh, the number of balls that you have on screen is the, um, crap. 
gobble is the the amount of uh, times that you can break your little line when you're building it across. And it's a pretty fun application to mess around with at first. Um, not the most addicting. It's definitely one you might want to go check out, at least the light version. But to actually go out and pay money for it, not so sure about it. It's not that addicting of an application. Not too uh, in-depth either, not too captivating. Kind of just a simple play. You might want to try the light version out. If you like it enough, then go out and get the paid one. Uh... Next application, we're going to skip Color Canvas, come to that one at the end, because that's actually my favorite one in this. But the next one we're going to go to is called Lexic. And there's a lot of applications in the App Store like this, where you build words off of specific letters uh, throughout the entire game board, pretty much. Um, but anyway, go in here, and settings, you have different types of gameplay. You have Cascade, um, which is where you hit a block and then more will fall down. Blackout, I'm trying to remember what Blackout is. It's explained somewhere how to play. We'll go to Blackout. Blackout is where they don't actually come back to life. Oh yeah, Blackout is where they don't come back to life. No blocks will reappear. And what you do is you can slide over using the accelerometer and then you can still build words around that. You try and get all the letters off the screen. And then Stasis Mode is where all the letters stay on the screen. They never disappear and you just build more words off of those. Um, so go into Settings again. You can do Tile Set. Uh, different types of colors and whatnot. I, that's kind of cool. It must have been an update. I didn't see that. Uh, different types of uh, letters. You can do different word lists. I don't know any difference, and it tells you right there if you don't know. So I just do TL TWL because that's what it normally is on. Sounds, leave them on. They're pretty cool. Uh, high scores. There's global and uh, default high scores built into your iPod or iPhone. But anyway, let's go in, and we will start a game on... Crap, let's change it back. And we'll just go into Cascade, the classic mode. So let's start a game. New game. And as you guys hear right there, some pretty nice tile sounds. So anyway, up here in the uh, HUD, you have your pause, which will bring you to your little menu. Your timer, which is consecutively going down, and I'm wasting time. And then also your score. These gold blocks, you try and get the gold blocks, it gives you multipliers and a higher score, uh, score setting. But anyway, um, it's not tap or anything like that. The way that you do uh, actually select blocks is that you'll go across. You uh, have to drag your finger. Um, so let's go. You can go horizontal. And you can go vertical, but you can also go in different like directions. So if we want to do F A R, go up, over, and there we go. So that's probably ooh, can I get dollar? No, I need a second L. What am I thinking? Um anyway, uh sorry, thinking to myself. Um so what you can pretty much do is you can go in any direction possible, as long as change as possible. The more letters, obviously you'll get more points for that. But um there's a lot of words in here. The thing that I like a lot about this application is that there's a lot of words in here that are not necessarily slangs, but maybe newer words that people don't usually include in these kind of applications. And this is probably one of the first that I've actually seen that has just about every single word that I can possibly think of. Um, plurals work. So if I want to do, instead of the word um, dog, if there's dogs with an S, is that's available, then you can just as easily do that. I probably should have done sons right there. Um, let's try and do sods. So as you guys saw, I got the gold block right there and I got a bonus. So anyway, that uh, entire application is called Lexic. It is a paid application from the App Store. A lot of other applications out there like it with the little word building process, but it's definitely one of the best word building process games. That's just, I just completely made that up. But it's one of the better of its type of genre that I've seen so far. Uh, great sound effects add to the environment and the mood of the gameplay, and it definitely keeps you coming back from more. Um, so anyway, my last application that I have for you guys is a free one. There's another application in the App Store right now, and that application is called Color Splash. It is paid, and it's basically the same thing. Color Splash is a little bit better. It has a few more features. <coughs> Pardon me. Like, you can zoom and whatnot in that feature, or in that application. It's a little bit better. A couple more features that you can actually do in it, but this one is free. It's called Color Canvas, and if you just want a really basic type of uh, application like this that I'm going to be showing you, then definitely check out the free version first. If you fall in love with it, then go check out Color Splash because it's basically a, a more in-depth version of this kind of an application. So anyway, I've already done a, a Color Splash. We'll try and get a picture up here, and I'll show you what it's all about. So... Go under iPod Picks. So now we have this gorgeous, as you guys saw, it was a, it was a ladybug uh, on top of a flower. And this application turns it all black and white. So what you're able to do is you can color in specific areas. There's where I'm coloring in. Let go. And it will only shade the area that you just colored in. So let's go back to the image that I just had. I've actually already done an image earlier. 
And I'll show you what I did. It's pretty simple. It's the exact same picture, but all I did was I left everything else black and white, and then I colored in the ladybug. So that's pretty much just shows you all that you can do with it. That's just a really simple example that you can do it with any picture that you want. I personally went onto Google, found this picture, and saved it, and then I put it on the, um, the color canvas. So you can use any picture you want. There's no pre-installed pictures that you have to use. You can upload any picture you want, whether it's of people, animals, um, buildings, I don't know, I can name everything. You can uh, upload any picture that you want that's on your iPod or your iPhone, and then you're able to color it. So we'll go right here, and I'll just show you. So as you guys see, there we go. Cool thing about it, say that I didn't want that part to be yellow, hit this little back button, and there it goes, it's all away. But say I did want it to be yellow, hit forward. I got fat fingers, hit forward. And there we go, now it's all back to how it just was. Um, you can go into this little palette up here, choose your brush size, and then your uh, opacity. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, opacity, maybe. Anyway, so if it's, uh, if it's down at the bottom, then the color that you'll be drawing in will be faded a little bit less. It will be more towards the black and white. And if it's at the very end, then that'll be the true color that the original photo actually is. So we'll leave it there. And then you can go under Actions, not too many. You have Save, so you can save it to your iPod or you can save it here. Uh, share, so you'll be able to upload it mobily. And then Gallery, this will be uh, all your photos and whatnot. So you can save your photos, your favorite photos that you've seen on other people, comments, uh, settings. And then you can get Photo Canvas, that's like the paid version of it. Get can Photo Share for free. So anyway, leave it alone. I would pretty much just go check out Color Canvas. That's the free one that I've found so far in the, Apple, in the App Store. If you like Color Canvas and all the concepts that it can uh, portray, then go check out Color Splash because that is the paid version or a paid application similar to it. That is the uh, top paid application in the App Store right now. So that's all I got for you guys in this review. That was uh, my number 42 application review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This Friday I'm coming out with my Marware Game Grip review. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And then just after that, I have one more set of case reviews to do, and then I'm all done with case reviews forever. But that'll be for another video. Anyway, this is my 40-second application review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you later. Have a fantastic day.